All right, what's up, buddies? Welcome to another episode of The Poor Man Road to Glory. As always, thank you so much for the support on the previous episodes. Uh, a lot to get into, as always, today. Uh, some people like the intro, some people hate the intro, so I'm going to make it short and sweet. Um, we've obviously got a new Team of the Week going on right now. We've got Hero cards going on right now. There's so much I want to talk about, especially with the Hero cards. Uh, we missed the boat. We really, really missed the boat on that Gilfie Sigurdsson. I tweeted about it as well, like, on Sunday, wanting to buy him because he was 40,000 coins and thinking, you know what, like, Iceland's got a couple of games coming up that are important. Um, even before the Iceland game, he's going for, like, 50, 55,000 coins, and I was sitting there with, like, two to 300,000 coins just debating whether or not to buy him. So, after the Iceland game, he went up to 80,000 coins because he got a goal and assist. Now he is a hero card, which also then guarantees that he will get an upgrade and he's going for 110, 120,000 coins. So we missed out on 60, 70,000 coins a pop. Uh, and I'm very, very, very disappointed with that. But hey, you gotta live, you gotta learn and move on. But I think next time we're going to um, uh, trust our gut and jump on it. And Mo Sella, we're gonna have a look at as well because Mo Sella got an inform as well. And uh, I think his price has skyrocketed. I believe he was like 230k or something like that, uh, like before the game. And I know his price has ballooned. I don't exactly remember where it's gone to right now. So, um, uh, D-Zazine, thank you so much, man. Appreciate you. Thank you so much for the Amazon Prime sub. So anyways, there's a new team of the week. Uh, the heroes are Messi, Gilfi, uh, Mo Salah are the ones that I really care about. So not too much of a point to show you guys that type, that type of stuff. Uh, if you guys want to see or you don't understand how we have this team and stuff like that, go check out last episode. We go through a huge and long uh, squad builder with this team and stuff like that. <clears throat> I've used this team actually uh, even while being offline uh, and it's it's good. I switched it from a 4-2-3-1 back to a 4-1-2-1-2 and it's really helped Florenzi flourish a little bit. He scored two goals and got an assist in, in the last two games. Uh, which was a semi-final and a daily knockout tournament final. So I was having trouble getting the width that I wanted from my wingbacks in 4-2-3-1. So what I'm doing is I'm actually using 4-1-2-1-2. And then at halftime, if I want to protect a lead or just change things up, I switch in-game to a 4-2-3-1. And it seems to be working very, very well. And uh, Ibra's injured. Ibra was like four matches. Foot injury as well. Screw that. That's like... That's like 4,000 coins if I use the singular one, which would be absolutely moronic. Uh, let's put Hazard there. There we go. Uh, I also played my squad battles and stuff like that because there's so much I wanted to do today that I didn't want to like have to play squad battles. So for the particular episode, what we're going to be doing today, God, it's taken me this long to get to it. Um, I'm going to show you guys the insane amount of profit we've made from marquee matchups going to show you how to obviously make easy coins off of marquee matchups to the point where like myself and nep have both made 100 150,000 coins in one day on the marquee matchup and not just from what we had in the club but just by just by sitting there and being patient doing the bronze pack method being very aware of what sells what doesn't risking it by selling certain things even above market price a little bit to get those lazy buyers in there so we're gonna do the bronze pack method show you guys how to make those easy coins off the marquee matchup um we have 64 packs to open of course it's that time of week where i did the bronze to silver upgrade grind so we're gonna open 64 silver player packs maybe we can get a uh gold inform out of these then once we've opened the 64 we're gonna go do the marquee matchups complete the marquee matchups because i have all the players for them so there's there'll be a bunch of gold packs to open once those are done we're gonna start a foot draft i'm not gonna play all the foot draft games unless we have time actually that reminds me let me click up uh start the timer so i can keep myself on track here there we go okay so timers all started up we will start the draft depending on time maybe i'll play a game or two i'm not entirely sure um after that is all done we're then gonna go do to finish off the episode because i also have wasted uh, uh essentially a drinking stream to do with my twitch viewers so um at the end of the stream i'm also gonna then input five gold player pack so that's what we're going to be doing today i think the best thing to do is to start off with these silver player packs We've got a gold pack as well i won the daily knockout tournament i tweeted about it yesterday even though we finished gold one um oh my god i thought that was a uh, i thought that was a board even though we finished gold one which last year getting gold through or above guaranteed you getting qualified or auto qualified for the weekend league ea just hasn't told us anything they haven't announced that that's the same thing again this year. So while the video was rendering yesterday, I just played through the daily knockout tournament and that Serie A team 
melted the daily knockout tournament that dibala and um and parasitch as well actually really started to tear things up and then basically um oh, bringing shit. on zlatan ibrahimovic in the 45th minute is absolutely the best route uh jamlin thank you for the 34 months man appreciate you love you too buddy Sigurdsson's getting a hero card. Yep, and he's getting upgraded as well. So the one to watch is getting upgraded. Same thing with uh, Mo Salah. There's a, there's a Mexican League player. They did. Okay, it was just retweeted by a bunch of different YouTubers. Cool, that's good to know. Uh, what time do you buy players at night? Between what time? So it's Canadian time. But I, I don't really buy players all that much unless it's like a Sunday. That's usually kind of my buy time for players is, is Sunday. That's when I feel like they're the best price. Saturday as well. To be fair, uh, I was talking with Nep about it last night, and he was saying that like he he was picking up players for really cheap on Saturday. So I think the weekend, ironically, even though the weekend league is going on, that's the the cheapest time for me. I like buying on Sunday. That time in Canada, like Vancouver, Canada, ends up being like anywhere from 5 p.m. to like 8 or 9 p.m. Like before and right before, during, and then a few hours after the squad battle rewards. It seems like. Player prices are um, are at really, really nice low prices. There's a lot of players on the market that you can end up bidding on. Um, so that's kind of like my route. Mm, Shapers, thank you for the $4, dude. Uh, I'm not checking out squads right now, but I will in a little bit, my dude. My dude, appreciate that. I bought Maldini for 67 k earlier. Do you think his price is going to rocket because of the team of the week? Uh, it could. It should. But it really depends on what the price of that inform Matuidi is, right? 67 k for a regular Blaze is already insanely expensive. All right, so we've got MLS, German three players. Nothing huge yet. But once again, as I'll show you guys in the marquee matchups, these silver player packs are so good just for completing any and all um, SBCs. Like I completed the marquee matchup by using one of the marquee matchups I think we, we completed. I think the entire team is untradeable. So this is why it's so good. And we're doing these, not only are we doing these uh, silver upgrade packs for free, but we're doing them for huge profits as well. Because every bronze pack that I've opened, right, over, if you if you take the average or the entirety of them, we've made huge coins. Uh, we're already 100,000 coins in the profit. Last episode as well, if you missed it, I packed the best player uh, I've packed, what, on any poor man road to glory ever outside of team of the season. I don't want to spoil it, so obviously go check it. But the value was 350 or was it 400? 300. It was 350,000 coin value player that we packed uh, from our Elite One Squad Battle Rewards. So if you haven't seen that, I'd highly recommend you go check it out. Uh, okay, nothing amazing there. Yeah, he didn't. He ended up just selling under 350 though because I was an idiot and listed him up incorrectly. That's on me though. Oh no, that's a good point. Poor man wrote to glory packed one to watch Pogba, didn't it? In 17, I didn't even think about that. Yeah, no, Pogba's better. Pogba's better. That's a good point. Pogba is better. I agree fully. So there's another untradeable player, right? Ooh, I wonder if we can get those really expensive untradeables. I got one player from the Australian League, I believe. So we might be able to use him considering he's untradeable and then selling the uh, the player that we have. Promise and... Oh, there's another one. Promise and Casillas are in concepts as well. Yep, so... The prices of Russian League and Liga NOS players have gone up now as well. My club is stacked with Russian League and Liga NOS players. Um, I'm choosing to keep them for now just to see where their prices go once the League SBCs are out. Um, and we also screwed up with the marquee matchups. I need to show you guys, obviously, uh, the trade pile of stuff we've sold and all the high value players. But when the marquee matchups were released, I started selling all my Australian League players. And I sold them. They all went for good money. I'm talking anywhere from 1,000 coins to 5,000 coins. But now, the Australian League players are double or triple the money. So that's one thing I need to watch out for next week's marquee matchup is not to get, like, all hyped up about it um, and, like, want to sell too early. Because the prices just end up going uh, going up a little bit more. Uh, an hour or two after the marquee matchups are released and, like, you know, the big rush of players is off the market. <clears throat> Wait, so they took them back out of concepts again? Oh, they're taken out of concepts again. Oh, okay, so it was a mistake. Well, a nice little, I guess, look into what hopefully the next two uh, league SBCs are going to be. That's pretty sweet. The left wingers from the Aussie League are like 5k now. <clears throat> yeah, exactly. Uh, I got Lukaku in a 50k draft pack. Yo, congratulations, bro. 
Somebody might know that feeling. <laughs> All right, there you go, Russian League players. <clears throat> and I think the plan again for the uh, Poor Man Road to Glory is going to be like we did last year, where we only do the League SBCs if it's absolutely a player I want. So like a Premier League League SBC, unless it's like Harry Kane, but even then, I'm going to complete because we, we all know how much I use uh, Premier League. Serie A SBC, I'm going to complete because of how much I use Serie A players. La Liga and Bundesliga as well, I'll probably want to complete. But I'm not going to rush into it. I'm going to take my time. We're going to do stuff like this every single week. We're going to open anywhere from 50 to 100 silver player packs every single week. That will slowly but surely fill up the club with untradeable league players. So it should make these league SBCs either damn near free or close to being free. Um, so I think that's going to be the plan going forward. I haven't really paid attention to what the hell I've actually packed, but... Uh, Aussie League Silver left wingers are mostly extinct. Uh, might end up using that guy as well. So the Japanese League players are expensive as well. Uh, you really don't like Kane, do you? I don't like him in FIFA, no. I, I think he's incredible IRL. I, I think he's absolutely amazing. Oh, feels bad, man. Um, I think he's absolutely amazing in real life, but... I just, in FIFA, he doesn't translate for me, which is funny because I love Ibra and you'd think like Kane would be a, a, a very similar style player to Zlatan, but I, I think he has like three star skills. I, he, I, every time I use him, it feels more clunky and shitty than any other striker I've used. So I've just never, never liked him. Uh, how many do you spend in a week on bronze packs? It's impossible to tell, dude. I, I'll, I'll open anywhere from 50 to 250 bronze packs a day. Because it's literally endless coins. It's 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 just how much time I have in the day and how much time my stream really is would allow me to open bronze packs. Because like I was in a call with Nep last night for two hours and we both literally I started at four hundred and eighty five thousand coins last night. Two hours of opening bronze packs and today I'm at four hundred and eighty two thousand. Nep was I think I can't remember what he was saying but I think he was at like forty five thousand coins on his road to glory and i don't think because nep uploads quicker than i do i don't think this is spoiling anything for his series but nep is at like was at like 42 45 000 coins and he ended the night on 45 to 50 000 coins two hours of bronze packs dudes um it's really 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 good <clears throat> it's really really good uh, all right here we go 29 left come on baby <clears throat> SBCs and trading is better than bronze packs. Hey man, you do what you got to do, bro. If, if that's what you enjoy doing, more power to you, my man. Uh, I like doing it all. I like doing SBCs, which the bronze packs allow me to do um, 45 to 42. Exactly. Dude, think of that. Two hours of opening bronze packs filled my club with players with... I didn't sell anything other than expensive Australian, Japanese, Russian League duplicates. That's it. That's literally it. 45 to 42. Are you guys confused? Two hours of opening bronze packs and I barely dropped any coins while storing every consumable, every single player and only selling certain duplicates that were like expensive. That's insane. I probably stored 100,000 coins worth of consumables. Maybe I didn't explain that properly. My bad if I didn't explain, explain that properly. <clears throat> Uh, do you actually make profit using the bronze pack method? Because I'm finding storing most players and unable to sell enough items to gain profit. I don't know if I'm doing it wrong. You're definitely doing it wrong. Um, the bronze pack method is all about storing the players. But for me, the bronze pack method is about doing what I do. Storing the players throughout the entire week, filling your club, selling duplicates, literally every single duplicate, selling consumables or storing consumables and selling them during the weekend league because that's how you maximize profit, of course, is selling your consumables during the weekend league. And then when Tuesday comes around, like what we did on Tuesday, the marquee matchup is dropped. We complete the marquee matchup like we did and then sell all the duplicates. We made 100,000 coins, like literally 100,000 coins from putting the players we needed into the SBC and then selling all the duplicates. And you just rinse and repeat. And then once I've done the marquee matchup, sold all the expensive stuff, I then go through the club and rinse the club through silver player upgrade packs. And then we start all over again. <clears throat> uh, I opened 100 bronze packs the other day. Ended up with 10k profit and a ton of cars in my club, including 30 squad fitnesses. Exactly. Exactly. All you got to do, and that's kind of why I wanted, like, I, I try to explain the bronze pack method out as much as I can, how I do it. 
but it's, you know, you're gonna have to find your own route. Like, Nep does the bronze pack method very different to me. He does not do the silver upgrades. Uh, last year, when I was doing the silver upgrade, gold upgrade, rare gold upgrades, Nep wouldn't do any of that stuff. Even though I was getting, you know, I got Inform Raja Nyingolin and a few good cards here and there, Nep just didn't believe in it. Nep rather, would rather open bronze pack, store the regular cards, and then sell certain duplicates that are expensive and leave it at that. Whereas me, I find discarding duplicates and stuff like that or not rinsing your duplicates or your cards through at least a silver upgrade, for me, I think ends up being a bit of a waste, but you end up doing it how whatever works for you. There's so many different ways to go about it. Uh, I hope the League uh, SBC is out soon. I have most of the players. Nice, nice. <clears throat> Pack Taliso yesterday was kind of pissed because I missed one to watch like eight hours. Dude, think of the pack pull I got, dude. Think of the pack pull I we got last episode. Um, bro, he was also a one to watch and was he's worth a million coins right now. Imagine packing that card as a one to watch. Holy moly. <clears throat> All right, untradeable as well. <clears throat> what rank did I get in FUT Champs? Gold one. Uh, we, we had a rough weekend and uh, I got a lot of abuse for it on YouTube. My final five episodes, which I, I was a little bit disappointed, YouTube. I'm gonna say that. The comments section was so toxic for my final five episodes of FUT Champs. And yes, I was talking about the game, criticizing the game, but I made a, a purpose, like a purpose, or not a purpose, what do you, would you call that? I made like an effort to not be like super negative and super toxic and super shitty and whine the entire time. I talked about the game and what was wrong with it, but I literally was talking like this, like certain things happening, kickoff boosts, bounces, unlucky bounces, this, that, and the other. And my entire comment section is just shut the hell up. You're the worst. I'm unsubscribing to you. All you do is complain. You should be doing this for our enjoyment, this, that, and the other, like endless abuse to the point where I was just like, holy God, if only YouTube, actually saw how toxic i get like like my stream sees if you will um during the weekend league like my good god so i went back and i actually watched a few of my games in that particular episode and okay there are certain moments where i just start getting a little bit frustrated boateng in a silver pack and irritated so i'm taking even though a lot of it was a lot of hate i'm taking that as constructive criticism and i'm gonna try and do better uh, the Weekend League, and you guys got to understand, for those of you, uh, Twitch, uh, sorry, Twitch viewers understand what I go through a little bit more, I think, because they see me grinding for 10 hours on Friday, 10 hours on Saturday, or 12 hours on Saturday, and then like six or seven hours on Sunday, on stream, grinding every single game in front of an audience, dealing with people that try and hunt me down and beat my ass and stuff like that live. So I think my stream viewers are a little bit more understanding because they see the stress and the progression through the weekend. Whereas YouTube, I think you guys a little bit maybe just see the video and think, my God, what a dickhead. Like he's playing five games and the whole time he's just frustrated and upset and he's not like, this is his job and he's upset and whatever. I think for YouTube, you, and fair enough, fair enough. That's not like a, that's not a, a shot at you guys. I think I understand that. Like you guys go into watching the video and just expect a good video every single time you know a positive video every single time and unfortunately for me with the stresses of the weekend league that doesn't end up uh you know coming across very well if you will so i'm gonna try and do better at least for the youtube bits uh and then my stream can get the my toxicity for the for the other 30 games of the weekend league but i'll try um i wouldn't say it's stress well that's because you have a different mentality then it's crazy that some people have different mentalities about it you know um but yeah, I'm gonna try. Stresses of the weekend league. Yo, if I mean if you don't feel that stress, good for you, man. Good for you. If you're if you're Mahatma Gandhi or Mother Teresa and, and you can sit there and get dicked endlessly for 40 straight games in the weekend league and not get upset or stressed out about it, then fair play to you, man. Much better person than I am. <clears throat> the weekend league is so stressful. Exactly. And I like Again, you want to take the piss and say, oh, but it's you're playing video games, you're doing this and that. Look, everybody has their cross to bear. Everybody has things they do. At the end of the day, this is my job. This is what I do. So maybe that also causes me to take on more stress than I should. That could be a good point as well. Being able to sit back and like not take it so seriously might be to my benefit for sure. I don't know how I'm going to do that, but that definitely would be to my benefit. <clears throat> I become another person when playing FIFA online, specifically Weekend League. It's weird, man. 
<clears throat> it's super, super weird. I was 26 and 11 and finished 26 and 14. Well, at least me and you both had the same finish. <clears throat> Nick, you have poo on your shirt. See, that's just rude. That's just rude, dude. That's not nice. Why you gotta say that? We're all leads, aren't we? Guys? Are we all... We're all leads, right? What leagues are selling at the moment? I'll show you. I'll show you. So, <clears throat> the leagues that are selling right now... Um, you know what? Instead of going to do the marquee matchup, let's do let's do a few bronze packs and we'll, we'll talk through it. And you guys will see. Like, it's not that you make money right away, but the profits are there. Like, these uh, Colombian players and even the Polish and Norwegian player, I'm storing them in my club. But by next week, the marquee matchups might require a Colombian player or a Polish player or something like that. So these cards that I'm storing can and might and maybe will have a value um 200 coins in the fitness card right there and then of course um off nation spaniard should sell even for 200 so this guy i'm not gonna uh well actually why the hell not why the hell not we'll list it up i've got six slots in my trade pile we'll list it up any of the high rated bronzes sell unfortunately at this point in time they're really only 200 coins and you have to relist them a few times but even right there once those players sell that's that's literally profit 20 coins profit but it's still profit um but you're really banking on getting a few decent things right so here we go um a rare that would have been nice if it was an actual player so a rare englishman should be 200 or or 800 oh my god okay um so i'll do that there you go that's the pack paid for and another pack paid for um a prem so he'll sell easy for the 200 no problem um mls players don't really sell right now i'm storing all my mls players i don't want to sell them because i just feel like for some reason we're going to get an mls SBC pretty soon with the uh playoffs coming and all of that stuff let's go clear the trade pile give ourselves a little bit of room and then uh and then we'll uh we'll do the bronze pack method a little bit further so Unfortunately, if you still haven't watched the last episode, there is the monster pack pull that we got from our Elite One Squad Battle Rewards. Super, super happy about that. We also got Fernandez, but whatever. Um, so here are all the sales from the marquee matchups. This is all players that I just didn't need to use. Um, monster profits, man. All from the bronze pack method. Literally, all from the bronze pack method. Um, so, you know, 5,000 coins for this guy. Uh, 1,400 for the center backs. I don't know what the prices are today. So we'll have to have a look. They might have gone up. They might have gone down. I'm not entirely sure. Uh, again, La Liga players that we listed up as well that sold. Bundesliga players that sold that you need for the marquee matchup as well. Um, Turkish League right back. Obviously worth a lot of coins. La Liga uh, uh, bronzes, sorry, sell for a lot of money for some estranged reason. There you go. I think that's more along the price now of wingers. <clears throat> go silver player. Um, again, Bundesliga players. Russian League players right now are selling for big money. Obviously, Mexican League players. Turkish League players are selling for big money as well. Uh, I said Mexican League players, right? Yeah. This guy, extinct on the market. You need one of these players for the market matchup. Literally extinct. Absolutely ridiculous. Um, so really, really happy about that. And then I think this guy too, extinct on the market. So really, really happy about that. Like, you can't tell me that you can't make money off of this, man. You got to be patient. But you can make money off this, no problem. So let's clear this all out. Uh, this was a Russian League duplicate that I put in the trade pile actually last night when I was talking to Nep. Sick. All right, let's do uh, that. There we go. Perfect. Anything else here that has a value? Uh, this guy is going for 200 coins right now, so I decided to just put him in the trade pile. Uh, okay, let's drop down a few of these prices. There we go. Oh, this didn't sell. Holy shit. Wait, hold on a second. Oh, what the hell? Oh, that sucks, dude. There was literally none of these on the market last night. Okay, there we go. Uh, the Willow Hebe. Thank you for 31 months, dude. Changed my name from Tom Whalen. Uh, I've given this account to my grill to watch my streams. So I come onto it every month. To keep my sub going. Yo, GG, man. Thank you so much for the support. I appreciate that. Tell your grill we love her as well. Okay, there we go. 
Don't sell Russian on Liga Nos. They will go up next week. They're duplicates for me, my dude. So there's no need. I'm not going to discard them. I'm going to toss them on the market and try and sell them, you know? Okay, here we go. Hundreds. Let's drop that down. I think these prices have come down a bit as well. There we go. Perfect. All right. So let's get into it for a little bit and then we'll go do the marquee. Well, you know what? Why not? Why not uh, complete the marquee matchup and then we'll do some bronze packs. We'll go that route. So here's the marquee matchup. Um, this is the one that obviously ended up making Japanese players super, super expensive. So this entire setup uh, is pretty much untradeable players although let me see real quick because i think i have a few uh japanese league silvers right i believe oh my god nick what are you doing not trying to sell this stuff okay let's go low to high ho oh, ho what the hell is that all from today Okay, so are you sellable? Okay, so you're sellable, so why don't we swap you out for this guy? Right here, okay. You're untradeable, you're untradeable, you're untradeable, you're untradeable. Um, okay, goalkeeper's untradeable, but why not do this then? Um... Hold on. Do strikers even sell? Let's see. Dude. Great. Here we go. I'm sitting on even more coins than I knew, man. Good God. Okay, so right backs I don't think sell because obviously that position is filled. We'll just do a quick double check. Why the hell would this card sell? I mean, okay. I guess we're selling it. Or seeing if we can sell it. Uh, CDM. Now people are dumb as well. So I don't know if CDM is going to sell. Center mids would end up selling. But the CDMs. 200. That's going to. That's going to. That, what the. F I'm tempted to buy that. All right. Well, that one will sell. Ours will be the next cheapest after that one. Uh, right mids should sell. Let's go. 500. And again, that's cheapest by far though. 500 the other one's a thousand so we'll go right in the middle of that just a bit oh god there we go just a little bit above because again that one will sell and then ours will be the cheapest um i'm assuming it's the same thing here 1400 600 okay so let's actually make ours the cheapest for this one perfect striker wise 150 on bid I'm assuming it's the same thing, right? Yeah, there you go. Okay. Dude, why does it do that? Like, where I'll set a price and then the, the price just keeps going up on its own, even though I'm not telling it to. Left mid. 1700. Again, same thing. Probably like 400. No, 900. Okay. Why don't we do that? Perfect. Thank you. Thank you. Another right mid. 800 so same thing like three four hundred if the silvers are three four hundred i'm probably not gonna sell nah, i think the silvers i'll hold on to okay so can put you here and put you here because this guy's sellable 552 on bid let's go 1400 950 okay let's do that perfect so he's gone um i mean this dude's untradeable too right so might as well i know we're getting rid of a lot of silvers but hey if they're sellable why the hell not or if they're untradeable why the hell not right same thing i think for this guy so he'll probably be like maybe that price i need that informed goretzka oh god i know Looks like such a nice card. I want that Ericsson, man. I really, really want that Inform Ericsson. To me, that Ericsson looks just so... I mean, we all know how his regular card is, right? Um, and who knows? That Inform might actually end up being a pretty good uh, pretty good investment. Send forward, send back. Um, 
So we lose chem if we do this, right? But there we go. Fully untradeable. Fully untradeable. Now, we only get a consumable pack out of it, which, <laughs> which is a little bit disappointing. But, I mean, with how many silver packs I'm going to open, I'm going to get these same type of players over and over again. So might as well do it. Perfect. So I can't really get rid of this guy. And you know what? He's a Brazilian in an off league, so he's probably more worth keeping. To be fair, this guy might be as well more worth keeping because he's also... Oh, he's also a Brazilian, isn't he? If this guy isn't more than a couple hundred coins, I might actually swap them. 400. You know what? Let's do that then. Let's do that. Let's do that. Because you know what? The Brazilian might end up being... Um, might be worth it. It is a rare consumables pack. So, you know, squad fitnesses and that type of stuff. So this one is the big one. This is the one that ends up like costing so much. The Melbourne Victi, Melbourne City, as you guys saw in my trade pile, end up being a fortune. This guy actually sniped yesterday, believe it or not, before I started opening the packs for 6,900. And then we had this guy pack pulled in the club um, already. I'm assuming they're both extinct on the market now. Uh, right mid. So ironically, what I'm putting through here is gonna end up being pretty damn expensive. But let's see if we can fit in. Um, where's Australian League, the other side of it? Where is it? Oh yeah, okay it is. I got it wrong. Come on, there we go. Let's see what we got here for silvers. One, two, three. Uh, these I'm gonna try and sell as well in a little bit. <clears throat> now the super link to this dude Thank you guys, by the way, appreciate the sub. Sorry, trying to figure things out here. I don't think I can get rid of the, uh, I don't think I can get rid of the untradeables. I don't believe I can make it work, unfortunately. Which is too bad. I'd like to get rid of these guys. I wonder if I do, if I do this, right? Put Rico over here. I know we need another gold player, so I can I can toss a gold player up here. Um, a gold La Liga player. That might end up working out. No, Gerard Delafeu, we need for the other SPC. He's untradeable as well. Oh, come on, man. It's just not going to work, is it? Actually, no, it might still work. It might still work. It might still work. It might, it might still work. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, hold on. It might, it might still work. It might still work. I might be screwing this all up, but. That's 84. There we go. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay. Okay, there we go. So we got rid of two. Which means we can then sell these guys, although they don't they don't go for all that much. But there we go. That's a that's a little bit better. So let's list you up. I think he's only like 200 coins, unfortunately. Mm, so the wingbacks, I'm not even going to bother selling. I'd rather rinse them through SBCs. This guy's like two, 300 coins as well. Uh, okay. Better than nothing. Better than nothing. And then let's have a quick little look back at the Australian League just to see uh, if... So wingbacks don't sell, but let's see if goalkeepers sell. Yeah, that's all I have left in this in this team. We cashed out everything else, right? Okay, let's see. Do goalkeepers sell? If it's 200, I mean, I'm assuming they'll sell for the 200. All right. Worth listing up. Definitely worth listing up. Like, normally these would take forever to sell. I'm assuming these probably sell through the first listing, so... We'll toss that up. Okay, perfect. 
Lovely. Put that all through. Really hope I didn't need that um, Madrid center back. Let's go see. So Atletico Barca. Perfect. So this is one of the ones I know you're going to look at and be like, what the hell is this? All untradeable. Literally, the as far as I can tell, the entire team is untradeable. Untradeable, Adiris. Like, I, we do so many two-player upgrade packs that you know we're going to get them again. Instead of having to discard them, we're going to use them. Untradeable. 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 Bronze player. Untradeable. Untradeable. Uh, tradable, but we needed to use them. Untradable. Insane. Insane. For a rare gold pack, I'll take it. For 25k pack, I'm down. Uh, we cashed out everything else as well. You guys saw that in the trade pile, so no need to show you anything there. And then Dortmund Leipzig setup, very similar as well. Trying to use a lot of untradable cards. Uh, I'm using Keita because he's untradable. I know he might have a bit of a value, but he's just not going to really get into any of my team. So instead of just having him sit in my club forever as an 83 rated card, uh, I thought to get rid of him. And a Jumbo Premium Gold Pack is not bad either. Again, we cashed out any items that, uh, that had values. Toxic, Eskil from Norway, DJ, uh, Bush Towers... Thank you guys. Tal Hamu, thank you for the brand new sub. Um, appreciate you dudes. The drinking starts at closer to 6 p.m., my bros. Right now we're just grinding through a few things. Okay, so there's no other SBCs to do here. And we're good, we're good to go. A few items have sold as well. There you go. Perfect. Don't mind if I do. Okay, so before we go open all those five packs. I did say I wanted to show you guys a little bit of the uh, of the bronze packs, right? And like how we go about doing it and stuff like that. So I'm going to try and talk you through what I do. Not for a long time, maybe like four or five minutes. Okay, so there you go. Uh, not entirely sure how much the Japanese goal... Oh my. 500? So, I mean, there's the pack paid for. So that's good. These dudes store in the club until next week. Next week, we'll wait and see who and what we need from marquee matchups. So there we go. That's not a bad one. It's not a, obviously a huge return. <clears throat> In before Nick explains for an hour. Dude, I, I'm a little passionate with this type of stuff. I know it's super nerdy. Uh, it's not Bundesliga, is it? Oh, it is? oh, okay. Hold on. This guy might just go for the 200. Yeah, he'll sell. Not many of him up. So there you go. Major League players as well. Major League... Uh, major Leagues. I do not rinse through the silver upgrade method. Uh, obviously the MLS I don't, the Turkish League I don't, the Mexican League I don't, the Russian League I don't, the Liga Nos I don't, um, the Championship I don't, there's, I, there's another league I think I'm missing, isn't there? Obviously the Australian League, um, yeah, MLS players don't really go for anything right now, unfortunately, but they will, they will. <clears throat> Why don't I keep non-rare contracts? Because I have so many damn contracts, I just don't need, last year I ended the year uh with like 2000 non-rare contracts that i just never ended up using um so i'd rather get six seven ten twenty coins for them uh, a time instead of just having them sit in my club do absolutely nothing uh even right now i i've got non-rare silvers and rare gold uh, rare bronze contracts that i'm using for my team and so there you go. There's another Russian League player. There you go. That's like 700 coins right there. But I'm storing it all. So consumables of all types I store until the Weekend League. And then I list up through the Weekend League. <clears throat> you can apply them in seconds on the web app. I know, but I just have so many damn contracts. It's it's At this point, it's not about the, it takes so long. But it's more about I just have so much of it. There's, this guy's like 400 coins. There's no way he's any more than that. There you go. All right, well, there we go, though. There's a pack paid for. <clears throat> you can easily use bronze non-rare contracts on the phone as well. I got it. I got it. What up, Al? I sit here, I sit here during every NFL Wednesdays uh, writing articles, and usually it's a horrific grind because I just want to play FIFA. Thanks for providing the background noise and my FIFA fix. Uh, so it sucks a little bit less. Yo, thanks, my man. Appreciate that. I'm a little scared for the drinking session to start. I'm not going to lie. We're about an hour and a half away from the drinking session. Um, but we'll see. We'll see how we do. <clears throat> uh, the Ragensburg badge sells? Does it really? Did I just discard something that actually has a value? The Ragensburg sells? It's a Reddit badge? Um, 
I got a job so I could buy things. Sorry, dude. Have fun. Um, uh, from Australia. I wish TBK Hill was my dad. Yo, I feel that. I feel that. Thanks, bro. Appreciate you, man. Uh, for so many people's sakes, I hope tomorrow is, uh, or there is an icon thing as well. Um, icons have shot up again and people are burning coins on them. You know what, man? I haven't yet. Wait, what? Why is this guy in my team? Oh, well, he's only... This is the right league, right? So this guy will sell for sure. Why do I have him in my club? I should be cashing out on those, um, on those cards for sure. What's the beer of choice? I don't know. I forgot to go get beer. So the boss man is delivering beer from his house. I texted him like at 7 a.m. this morning. I'm like, boss, I fucked up. I forgot to go pick up beer last night because I was doing so much stuff for like, I just got caught up doing like the daily knockout tournament and all that other stuff that I just didn't, uh, I didn't have time to go get beer. So I don't know, whatever he ends up, whatever he ends up bringing really. I'll drink anything, man. It's, you know, it's, it's our drinking day. I don't really care. <clears throat> Doesn't matter to me at all. Stella? No, I mean, I I, I don't. I, he's not a Stella guy, so we'll see. We'll see. I'll be very interested. In fact, I think I hear him. Oh, baby. I'm excited. <clears throat> I'm excited. Sorry, there might be a, a slight awkward break. Not awkward, but a slight break in, uh, in, in, in us opening bronze packs and the gold player pack. <clears throat> Does my dad live near, near me? It's Steph's dad. Yeah, they live like six houses away. Ooh, here we go. And Steph's sister lives two houses away from us as well. We're like, we're like everybody loves Raymond. You know that show? Literally. We're just, we all live in the same area. Hey, is it who? I <laughs> I'm so sorry hey, to do that to you, hey, honestly. This is just in the, uh, in the garage, so. It's just cool. in the garage? You're an cool. animal. So you what may, is it? You may need to oh, paper. MGD. That's Thank you. A 12 best. pack. I, it's gonna, it is. Best. It's yeah, nice. This is the good, this is the good drinking beer. Awesome, Thanks, man. boss. You're awesome. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thanks, boss. I'll put some in the fridge right now, so they're ready. I apologize. Oh, let's go. Wait, I have alcohol. What the hell? I have some beers. Good. Oh, nice. Okay, so we've got we've got Corona, which in my opinion tastes like cat piss. Uh, don't ask me if I've tried cat piss before. No comment. Um, we also have a French beer, and then we have MGD. Easy drinking MGD. Okay. No. No. Does this fit here? No, unfortunately it doesn't. Okay. All right. Let's go, boys. Feels good. Whoo! What happened? Why are we gold fishing? That is MGD. Wait, what? What? New streamer. What did I do? Everybody needs a boss man in their life. If they do, trust me. What? Oh my God. Hold on. Oh, I thought he'd be worth so much more, man. Oh, because I already had beer. I have some beer, but I only have like five beers, man. Yo, our drinking sessions last like seven hours. You know what I mean? Five beers would literally, five beers, once it hits 6 p.m., UK, when we're starting, those five beers will probably be done within the first hour. Let's be real. Let's be real. 24,000 FIFA points spent. Gonna be drinking for every walkout or every decent pull. Oh, it's gonna be, it's gonna be insane, man. That's why we only do it once a month. You're gonna get through five beers in 10 minutes. Oh, God. <laughs> I'm confused about the goldfish. <clears throat> yeah, I feel that. I feel that. I feel that. My nieces are in front of the house as well. They they come by every single day to pick up Ethan and Mila to go to school. Um. All right. Uh, I hope I have something to do with that. RNBA, please, bro. Oh God. Oh God. We saw RNBA's tweet today. Okay, so uh, Premier League player is gonna sell no matter what. All Prem players, all Major League duplicates sell. Um, another one to watch out for in bronze packs. I haven't been paying attention to it, so my bad. Off league major nations that are left mids or right mids or center backs and stuff like that sell as well so keep an eye on those 
Uh, and that's another thing as well that I actually don't grind through the bronze pack method. Any major leagues within that league that I'm grinding through, so if like say we're doing, let's say we're grinding through the Russian league and there's like a Spaniard, a Frenchman, an Englishman and stuff like that, those cards I do not put through the SBC because first of all, they're hard to pack as it is. And if an SBC comes out where you need like off nation players from a certain league, those cards that you have in your league start like skyrocket in price, what we saw last year. So there you go, squad fitness. That's like a thousand coins right there. Perfect. Um, Gilfie's not an inform. No, he got a hero card, dude. Even better. He got a hero card. He got a hero card. Oh, this is a really nice pack. A rare right mid? 700. I mean, it's not, it's not, <laughs> it's not as good as I was expecting, but I'll take it. That Toronto player, you know, will have a big value at some point in time this year. So that's good. We'll be selling them, hopefully, for... What the hell? Okay. EA losing their minds. All right, so hopefully that made sense to you guys, or at least gives you a bit of advice on how to do the bronze packs, what you should look for, what you should sell. It changes as well every week, obviously, with every new marquee matchup! Oh, he's a right back, man. Come on. It's the first Australian we've got, man. He's 200 coins. Oh, I got so happy, dude. Why are you a thousand coins when the other ones go for so much less? Anyways, I'll take that. Okay, there we go. Now, do we do the draft before or after we open up our packs and stuff? That's the question. Do we do the draft before or after? 700, 500, 300. Okay, so eh, it's not 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 a huge profit. <clears throat> <clears throat> after? Do the packs after? Okay. All right. So we'll do the uh, we'll do the draft and then we'll. Uh, then we'll get the uh then we'll get the pack see if we can find a game Ooh, you know that guy's gonna have a nice price this guy we just Holy packed shit. didn't we or sorry didn't we didn't we just list this guy up for sale Oy, 300 probably not probably not even hey frosty thank you for the 42 months man appreciate you bro 42 is nuts man thank you for the support all right let's go let's go Come on, I'm, I really wanted to open a pack till we got like a, a, a good Australian player, you know, where we could cash in with it. But this did happen last night to me as well. I went like 40, 50 packs without packing an Australian. Then I packed like two 10,000 coin players. So that's the thing with bronze packs as well is you got to be willing to grind. Got to be. Where's the time gone? Dude, I don't even know, man. I can't even believe that I've been streaming. It, come mid-November, I've been streaming for four years straight. What? Four years? Okay. Surprised Weekend League hasn't killed me yet. You know what I mean? What's the best formation in FIFA? I'm really enjoying 4-1-2-1-2. And then if I want to try and close out a game, I'm also really, really enjoying 4-2-3-1. So there you go. That's a good, that's a good bit of coins. Might only be like six, 700 coins between the two of them, but that's still better than nothing. Uh, 63 rated card. That might sell, but I don't really want to fill up the trade pile with complete garbage. Four years of Nick. Oh God. Yeah. I feel that. I feel that. Oh, what up, leads? Told you guys we're all leads. See, even EA agrees. Okay, get rid of that. All right, so we'll open down to 475,000 coins. Save the packs. Uh, nah, it's all good. It's all good. We'll, we'll, we'll do the draft, see what we can get out of the draft, and, uh, and then we'll get the packs. We'll get the packs going. I gotta show oh i didn't show you guys the stats either for the uh for the serie a team it's really started to come good for me man that dibala is nuts <clears throat> that dibala is absolutely nutty man such a good card he's so good at left striker he's so good at left cam <clears throat> absolutely perfect four three two one to four one two one two so you can utilize better all-around stats of wingers at striker yeah, I feel that. I feel that. That's a good call. See, get excited, but don't get excited because he's not in the Australian League, so that guy won't sell for anything. Come on, EA. Come on, EA. We've got 1,200 coins to spend. Give me one Australian. Come on. Come on. 
No? Okay. Okay. Two more, maybe three more packs, depending on the discards. Mm, yeah, we'll do three more. Whatever. Here we go. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Uh, okay. This guy, hey, this guy pays for the last two packs, doesn't he? 700, something like that. Mm, looking like a little bit less than that. 650. There we go. Boom, boom. Boom. Yo, best man in the chat. Thank you, man. Appreciate the 50% off subscription to the channel. Much love. Two more. Come on. Give us a Melbourne victory, Melbourne City player. Come on. Come on. Please. Man. There, it's like they've taken them out of packs entirely. What the hell is this? Okay, final one. Come on. Shamoli. Before we get this draft started. Oh, dude. Well, not gonna lie. Ooh, this guy will sell. Uh, I think right now they're only going for like 200 or something like that. Yeah, but he'll sell. Yeah, La Liga Brazilian manager. Very, very useful for squad building and much cheaper than having to buy gold that's already converted. Uh, okay, so let's start up the draft. Found a player for my favorite club. Aye, let's go online draft. We're going to risk another 15k. Oh, what the hell? Where do you have a draft started? Uh, what? Okay. Let's just, uh, let's just get into it. Oh my God. Let's just get into it then. Sounds good. Okay. Well, that's a damn good front three, if I do say so myself. All right. It's going to be the all time record quickest draft ever finished. Do the packs first. We'll do this. See if we can find a game. If we can find a game, we'll get into the game. If we can't find a game, we'll go do those packs. Um, I want to use Parolo. Parolo is a good card. As much as I don't want to use Santi, we will use Santi. Get ourselves that link. Now, Fellaini is a bit of an animal. I've been watching quite a few people use his Inform card. Uh, oh, Krikoyak looks good too. Let's go with Fellatio. Love a bit of Fellatio. Danny, I would love to. I would love to use Danny Alves. I would love to use Danny Alves, honestly. Uh, are we going to go super boring with a Prem setup, I guess? And then just go with super subs or something along those lines? Holy ba- Oh my god, this is actually the most boring draft I've ever done. Ooh, but you have to. You have to. With a hunter, apparently. Okay, then. You gotta do it. When when EA offers it up like this, you gotta do it. Uh, does he have high, medium work rates this year? Yeah, but high, medium work rates actually do not really apply. There we go. Alrighty, then. Oh, my God. <laughs> Butland is meta again, by the way. He's very, very, very meta. Nutty card. Okay, so I haven't used this formation at all this year. Paul Pogba. Oh, we gotta use Paul. He fits right in. What is this? What is this, dude? <laughs> okay. Perfect. I haven't used Paul Pogba this year, so I'm pretty excited about that. Um, I'm gonna have to use Cristiano Ronaldo. I know Czech would go right in here as well, but if I can get a Ronaldo, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna try and get him. Mo Salah. He's got a hero card. Can you pack hero cards and stuff like that in the draft? No? Nick, you're going to get knocked out first round. Yeah, you're not wrong. You're, you're, you're probably right. You're probably right. I think Ogbonna might actually be better. No. Holy shit. I, I don't know. I'm tempted to go with Ogbonna instead of Otamendi. Yeah, I'm getting knocked out first round. Easy. Easy peasy. Musa for the meta. Musa's never going to get used, but might as well pick him up. Maybe he'll be our good luck charm. Dude, come on, man. What the hell? Um, not going to use either one of these guys. I'm really not going to use either one of these guys. Maybe as a super sub, Raheem Sterling. Dude, okay. I really wanted to try out Sané. 
I really wanted to try out Sané. I know it's kind of stupid for me to take out Anthony Martial. Maybe even do this. That also is pretty moronic, but I think I'm going to do that. I wanted to... Dude, I, I've seen so many people use Sané and he's nuts. So I kind of want to try him out. That team looks crazy good. Um, Again, no one really here I'm going to use. Obviously, Gerard's going to get replaced. three afros oh my god i didn't realize that that's awesome um again garbage so probably do that good god all right good thing we picked up uh all the players already that we need okay what a terrible draft what oh my god i've not used this card but i want to try him i wanted to try this card in my midfield as well Actually, he might just come on as a super sub, you know? Okay. Alaba. Welcome to the fam. Uh, again, not really going to get used. Uh, Parolo, maybe, to, like, close out games. All right, let's see if we can get a... Oh. Cool. Cool. Uh, 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 uh. None of these matter, so let's go with this guy. Looks like he's about... 72 years well maybe not 72 years old that's a little offensive nick 2018 okay so i'm thinking we roll with this when the game starts like where do i put ronaldo do maybe we use this team for the first half and then bring on ronaldo like just melt them with pace for a little bit and then bring on ronaldo at halftime someone as old as you that's rude that's rude what up alba that's rude okay don't be saying that. Well, what do I do, man? This team is too good. Do I bring on Ronaldo right away? And take off Lacazette? I don't know. I know Anthony Martial in the midfield is going to be weird, but hey. I mean, Nep uses strikers at CDM, right? So. Alright, and then let's do... Okay, well, that doesn't do a damn thing for anybody. They're all on 10 chem, so... Who looks who looks more awkward? This guy doesn't look like he's too interested in anything happening at all in FIFA, so we're going to put him in there. Uh, Ronaldo Pogba Aspi. 183 rated squad. Okay, so, uh, yeah. Let's hope... I, I You know what? We've only won four out of our... Ha what was the entries? Four out of seven entries? Five finals, mm, uh, one knockout in the second round, one deep. knockout in the third round. So this should be interesting. Don't let your memes be dreams, Nep. Just tweeted at me. What? Ho, 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 ho! What the hell? Nep packed a gold in form in a 400 coin bronze pack. This guy started out as a bronze, I'm assuming, or a non-rare silver. God. Fair play, Nepenthes. And it's a duplicate as well, so he might have already done it. That is outrageous. That's crazy, dude. Okay, so this guy has, has a, a familiar kit. Let's see what this guy's team is. Am I going to get knocked out first round? Okay, let's hope not. Okay, positivity though, okay? Positivity. We're going to pause the music because this music's giving me a bloody headache. Positivity, okay? YouTube comments will crucify you, Nick, if you even criticize anything about the game at all. So just be positive. Even if you miss endless chances, it's going to be due to my own fault. I just, I got to go into this knowing that I'm not great at this game, okay? Go into the draft, Nick, knowing you're not great. Referee satisfied everything okay, this okay. was what? Five and bars? Four, four bars? Why is there... Okay, I'm not going to say anything. Jack Butland starts in goal. Aspilicueta starts with Angelo Ogbonna as the fullbacks. Paul Pogba plays alongside Maroan Fellaini in the middle of the park. Good, good job, Pogster. Lacazette is the lone striker today. Here's Martial. Anthony? It's looking I don't know how to move. use this formation, man. Pogba. Okay. Looking for Lacazette. Ah, okay. Using a bit of the width there, though. Not too bad. 
He hasn't made any changes either, which is interesting. So I thought maybe he'd pause the game, bring on a few different players. That's mine. Let's go. Will be on the Let's end go. Of them. Well, he's in the kind of mood and the kind of form to snaffle just the half chance. He's really got to be marked tightly today. Amazing development for a player like Gareth Bale. Who Wait, Gareth Bale? This guy is Gareth Bale? Started his career. And now, uh, well, he can go anywhere on the pitch, can't he? Probably surprised a lot of people, me included, actually. Okay, uh, not gonna lie, I was trying to do a cry of turn there. And I just gave up possession like an absolute dickhead. Oh, sorry. Sorry for swearing. Okay, play it around. First game of the day as well, so gonna be a little bit rusty. Bit of lag. Okay, I don't know why I'm deciding to shoot that right in front of his player. That's a silly waste of possession, Nick. Such a low chance of getting that shot off. Come on, Felicio. Come on! Yes! Yes, Felicio! It just feels like with this formation, like the wingers are so separated. It's a, oh, it's a great tackle. I'm not entirely... I think that was Rafael Varane that made that tackle there. Fair play. Um, okay, I don't think Lacazette's going to be able to get on the ball if I send in a cross, so... Anthony Martial. He could lay it off to the supporting player. Oh, that was a good play. Good turn. Navas comes up with the save, as always. It's okay. We're doing good, though. That's a corner. Ooh. Did I blow my load too early there? I think I did. Oh, God. You never want to say that to a girl, by the way, dudes. <laughs> what the hell? Ooh, good ball. Anthony! Oh. Guys? Yeah? Please? Here's Carrasco. No, but legit, I did, though. Like, I just On shot way too here. early, man. Here we go. Good. 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 Bit of luck going for me. I'll take it. I'll take it. I'll take it. I don't know if my sanity could have handled uh, first shot on net goal. Poor defending for me, though. Quite a bit of lag right now. But I'm assuming he's dealing with it as well, right? So it's not like I'm the only person dealing with this stupid lag, stupid connection. Anthony Martial. Another shot. Oh, big save, Navas. Oh, God, I pulled Holibas so far out of position. Good tackle Pogba, right back to him, love it. Good awareness by the referee to play the advantage here. Good tackle, right back to him, love it. So I'm just wondering, like, what can I do differently there? I feel like, I'm not entirely sure what I can do differently there, you know? I'm not going to complain. Probably going to get knocked out first round anyways, but... I don't know what to do different there. Tackled him twice, and he literally just bounces through both my players and in on net. Like, don't tackle? I don't know. I, I, I don't know. I wish I knew what I could do better there. Stand there, don't do anything, let the AI defend? I mean, what? How is that a tactic? in this situation. He's aimed for the far post here. Oh, okay. Here I'll take it. Even the team I'll take it. You need to smash your face on your controller? You're still complaining? I'm not complaining. I'm asking what I can do better. I'm asking for advice. How is that complaining? You see what I mean? People are more sensitive than I am. My Twitch viewers, and specifically, I, let's say, like, the YouTube comments... Are more, I can't say shit. You do realize we're on stream. And I'm recording as well for YouTube. You do realize I have to speak, right? I can't just sit here and fucking silently not do anything. Like, you realize I can't be you. Where I'm just sitting by myself. You know, playing. And that's not me taking shots either. Saying you play by yourself. Fiddle with yourself as much as you want. More power to you. But like, it's a bit different for me, my dude. Nevertheless, 
Positivity is going to try and get us forward here because me being a dickhead isn't going to get us anywhere. Come away with the ball clean. Great tackle. Come on. Lacazette. There we go. Nice little turn. Nice little run from Anthony Martial. He stops his run though. Martial. A... Wow. Good ball away. Good ball away. I'm not entirely sure how he uh, he got that away, but that was wait what? Here's <clears> Carrasco. <throat> Come on, Adderin. you got this. Just gotta, just gotta play it out. Be patient. Jordi Alba. Diana Carrasco. Could be a chance here. They've got the ball. Tackled it away again. There we go. A little bit more patient there. Here's Martial. Good. Now Danilo. Now Anthony Martial. Lacazette. Okay, here we go. Oh, what a block by his player. I thought I passed it around just enough, but he pulled in his player to take the ball away there. No, 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 no. What a play. Oh, no. Oh, no. You know that I put that wide as well. You know that I put that wide. That's not the game doing that. <laughs> oh, no, dude. All of that good work, and I put it wide. Of course, it had to be Aspi there, too. Ay, 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 man. I should bring on Ronaldo. What am I doing not using Cristiano? Silly, man. That is just silly. Uh, okay, we're going to bring on Ronaldo, and I'm actually going to bring on um, Alaba. See if he can give us a bit of width as well. Man, frustrated with myself, dude. Here we go for the second half. That's crazy, though. There you go. At least Ronaldo's coming on. Oh yeah, Aspi has a hunter, dude. He has a hunter too. I'm blown away that I missed that, man. On the attack here. Here's Cristiano Ronaldo. Poor, poor form. Okay, Sonetto. What are you up to exactly? He's now, okay, he's just running attack. down the byline. Fair play. And they get it away. Maybe do the exact same thing he did here? Well, Who covered that space? Is it Bale at right back? Well, Fair play. Holy shit, dude. Well, he stepped what? Oh, my lord. I thought I'd be able to break down that wing because he pushed his uh, his wing back so far up the field. I really hate playing against 4-2-3-1, man. It, it clogs up the midfield so well, and that's where I like to operate. Here's Martial. Well, they're in a good position here. Fuck, what's the point of you doing a fake shot there, Nick? Tell me. What's the point of me doing a fake shot there? Camero. There we go. Until that challenge. Cristiano Ronaldo. Now here's a chance to get at the opposition. I mean, fair play. That is like that. Sh that is Varane's pace. You know, he can catch Ronaldo. So I, I I'm down enough. with that. I'm not gonna Will bitch and moan about that. I don't know what Varane's um, uh, chem style is, but my god, he caught Ronaldo like he was standing still. Another good interception back right back to him. We're going to do this again. Good tackle again. There, there we go. Attack. Fellaini. That's a poor touch aye, and aye, the aye. possession's gone away. That will help ease the pressure. Now, William. Pogba. Here's Martial. There we go. Ronaldo. Taking on the defenders. No reason to stop the game for the referee then. And he's read the play well. Try one now. 
Oh, I can't. I. You know what, man? This is gonna. That miss with Espilicueta is really gonna hurt. You know it's going to as well. Like a tap in, and I put that wide. That's just nuts. How did I manage that? It's on the move all the time and makes lots of these interceptions. How the hell did I manage that? Now, Williard. Now this looks promising. No! Oh my god, what is up with me, Nick? Come on, man. Terrible play. Like, it's just bad. It's, it's, it's just bad play. The connection isn't even that bad, honestly. What the hell am I doing, man? Well, this is a chance for Bale to show his speed going down the flanks. Good time. They look promising there in that wide area, but the defender's done well. Pogba. Cristiano Ronaldo. Here's Martial. Pogba. Ronaldo. Fellaini. Ronaldo. <gasps> no! What is that touch from Ronaldo? I wasn't pressing it. What an incredible ball from Marouan Fellaini, too. I, I, what was that touch from Ronaldo, man? Into passing. I must have, again, I mean, it's, I'm going to try and blame myself. I must have pressed something or done something. I don't think I did, but what the hell was that touch? Have an intervention like that and get back on the ball when they're defending so much. Get the ball. Throw in now. They're on the move now. Now Anthony Martial. Willian. No, nah. man, this guy's like the AI seems to just pick off every single pass I'm making. Good tackle, right back to him. There we go. AI did it for me there at least. I didn't press anything there. Coming on strong and looking to play their way through now. Yannick Carrasco. So the center back of dreams. <clears throat> Can I cheese him here? And it's taken. Okay. What? Got the ball, and they're going at the opposition with speed. Kevin Gamero. That should be mine. Why? Oh. Fellaini. What a finish we're having here. It's still level as we enter the last five minutes. Both teams still have a chance to win it. I should have sweat it. I should have sweat that though. I mean, I'm taking that goal with Cristiano. That's an incredible finish, but I, I put, I got blinders on there, man. Oh my God, that was another tap in. But I just with Ronaldo, I'm like, I have to shoot this. Wow, dude. Thank God I put that away. Oh my goodness, man. There was definitely a sweat there, and I just honestly completely ignored it. Okay, we've really got to defend this, like, really, really well. Here we go. Here we go. This is really good. Here's Martial. Well, he's a cut above many on the pitch in terms of speed, Anthony Martial. See, and then I go for the sweat, and it just ends up never being the right choice, man. You know what, man? I think it would have been a lot more intelligent if I just kill kill time here. It's with Danilo. Let's go! There we are. Woo! All right. So, fifteen thousand coins risked. At least we got through the first round. That was tight, man. That was tight. God, I'm not playing, not playing well. But I'll take the win there. Um, I think I deserved it. I, I think I definitely deserved to win that. Didn't play very well, but created quite a few opportunities. That guy was almost a FUT founder. Account created in 2010. Literally kept him to one shot on target. And of course he scores it too. All right. So into round two. I think you guys have been waiting long enough though. Let's get those uh, marquee matchup packs opened up as well. Let's see if we can get anything out of it. <clears throat> yeah. Two shots total. His only shot on target is a goal as well. Uh, there we go. All right. Ooh, 14 items sold. Boom, 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 boom. Let's 
just it's just the best <laughs> it really just is the best it's so good uh all righty then come on premium gold pack jumbo rare consumables pack rare gold pack rare electrum player pack what the hell okay so we'll do the rare consumable pack first these are great packs okay so that's 2,000, 3,000. I don't know, that's maybe like 1,500. I don't know. But there's like 5,000 coins there. Easy. Four, five, 6,000 coins, I guess, depending on when I sell the uh, consumables. Okay. Mm. Now, nah, I don't want to wait. I don't want to wait. I don't want to wait. Uh, let's go. So, which one are we going to do here? Let's do. I guess we'll just work from left to right now. Come on. Oh, not even a rare player, man. <clears throat> not even a rare player. Okay. Discard that. Okay. Premium gold. Come on. Come on. Oh. Something valuable? Nope. Adan, not valuable at all. Not valuable at all. Ooh, okay, though, I'll take a Brooks. That's not bad. Oh, wait, this was the Jumbo Pack. Oh, goodness. I didn't even realize I was opening the Jumbo Pack yet. Uh, another Lindelof. Great. He might actually sell for a little something, something. Come on. Come on. Give us... A side boob. Rare gold pack, so that's a 25k pack. And then I think this is a 45k pack, isn't it? Pretty sure that's a 45k pack. Alright, come on. Side boob! Please! No! Suarez in a pack! <laughs> what do we use, man? What do we put? Oh, God. Oh, wait, hold on. No, because Arda Turan doesn't sell for much of anything either, right? Just a bunch of press. Dude, that, how do you pronounce that guy's last name without sounding like a complete prick? Um, okay. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Here we go. This is the big one. Can we get something? Wait, what? Hello? I think I think I, my fingers are so fat, I pressed B instead of A. <laughs> Holy moly, dad problems. All right, come on. Ooh, we got boobs. Come on. Oh my god. Who? Oh, Casemiro. Eighty-five rated. Yo, what the hell? That's actually pretty good, right? Let's go, man. Hercules, Hercules. I'll take it. I don't know how much he's worth, but is that good? I'll take that. That's fantastic. I might even keep Casemiro to test out. No, that's not 30k. No way, dude. Oh, I'm so... Oh, man, I got excited. Not gonna lie, I thought that was something way better than it actually was. What the fuck is this pack? This is like a 50k pack, but like with silver players. No wonder the marquee matchup is so damn expensive, dude. Nah, no way. Paulinho might be worth a little bit as well. Yo, he's more than... He's over 40k. Oh my god, dude. With a shadow, this must be such a nice card to use. With a shadow, this might actually be the best... Six feet tall... Oh my god, look at those stats. 82 short passing, 84 long passing, shot power, long shots, reactions, ball control, composure is good. 85. Wow. Wow, I mean, I'm taking the coins, man. Oh my god, the luck is in, dudes. Are you kidding me? Uh, now, he's fresh, so I'm going to make sure I make my money on him. Uh, I'm going to toss him up for 35, so he'll get some bids. We'll do 44. 
or maybe just to make sure we get the bids in. 38 and 44,000. Oh, this Leipzig, dude. I wonder if these Leipzig players are still expensive. Oh my God, dude. Holy, what a pack. What a pack. That's like 45,000 coins right there. 45,000 coins. Paulinho looks like an incredibly well-balanced card. If this is the Prem, he'd be like 30K. I mean, even then, he's still about 4K. So th this pack is just under 50,000. Coin value. Wow, man. The pack luck continues on the poor man road to glory. Uh, I bet you this guy's worth a lot as well. No doubt about it. And you know he's going to be more. We don't. We haven't even got yet the Russian League SBC. So he will have a bigger value soon. Um, Italy, Russian League. Okay, so I'm going to keep all the other stuff. Andy Carroll is uh, how much? Andy Carroll is worth 100k? Why? That's not even remotely funny, though. I don't get it. I'm going to rinse Andy Carroll through the, uh, through the SBC upgrade, man. <clears throat> That's what I'm going to do. All right, man. Well, I think, I honestly think we can end it there. I know we haven't, like, it hasn't been the absolute most insane longest episode. I think we're actually even under uh, an hour and 20 minutes, but you got to end it there, man. What a way to finish it off with a monster, monster pack pull. Okay, I might have listed this guy up for a little bit too cheap, so my bad there. But I'm going to continue the bronze pack method on. Until next time, thank you so much for the support. If you enjoyed the video, remember to subscribe if you haven't already. I don't know many people that are still here uh, an hour and 20 minutes into a video, but much love, and as always, we'll catch you on the flip side. Peace!